When the first smartphone was unveiled to the world, it was seen as nothing short of a revolution in the palm of one's hand, an endless fount of information and a new frontier in connectivity. Today, that revolution has soaked into the very fabric of our daily lives, altering the tapestry of human interaction and self-perception. As these devices mediate our engagement with the world, one pressing question looms large. At what cost does this digital convenience come, and what dividends does it pay in the currency of our mental and societal well-being? Caught between the infinite scroll of updates and the ephemeral joy of digital likes, our cognitive landscapes are being reshaped. This essay seeks to navigate the murky waters of life lived through a screen, exploring the dual-edged sword of today's digital age, where the promise of infinite connectivity meets the peril of profound isolation. In an era where information is as easy to consume as air, the habit of incessantly checking our devices has become as reflexive as breathing. Studies have shown that the average person checks their phone 58 times a day, with much of that time spent perusing social media, news feeds, and instant messages. This digital grazing, constant yet fragmented, fundamentally alters how we process information, weakening our ability to concentrate and delve deeply. Mental health experts caution that this barrage of superficial snippets of information can lead to cognitive overload, a state where our ability to filter information and make reasoned decisions declines. Neurologically, this is manifested by diminished gray matter in regions of the brain associated with cognitive and emotional control. The implications are startling yet visible. In classrooms, teachers report shorter attention spans. In workplaces, professionals feel the crush of needing to be perpetually online. In personal lives, family dinners are punctuated with the glow of screens, interrupting the age-old human ritual of shared stories and nurturing through conversation. Mental health experts caution that this barrage of superficial snippets of information can lead to cognitive overload, a state where our ability to filter information and make reasoned decisions declines. Neurologically, this is manifested by diminished gray matter in regions of the brain associated with cognitive and emotional control. The implications are startling yet visible. Smartphones not only change what we see, but how we see ourselves. They serve as mirrors reflecting an edited version of reality tailored by algorithms that know our preferences better than we might ourselves. This constant engagement with an idealized self can distort our self-image and precipitate anxiety, especially among younger users who are still in the process of forming their identities. Sociologists argue that the architecture of social platforms is designed to addict. They make us crave external validation through likes and comments which can lead to a cycle of dependency upsetting our emotional equilibrium. We compare our everyday lives to highlight reels of others leading to feelings of inadequacy and discontent. However, amidst these challenges, smartphones also offer unprecedented opportunities for learning, connecting with distant loved ones, and accessing mental health resources. Tools and apps designed for mindfulness, education, and psychological well-being harness the positive power of this technology. They remind us that, if navigated thoughtfully, our digital devices can enhance rather than diminish our human experience. In conclusion, as we swim through the digital waves of content and connectivity, our challenge is to remain mindful of both the undertow and the clear waters. By cultivating digital mindfulness and intentionally setting boundaries, we can harness these tools for significant personal and societal benefit, ensuring that our technological evolution enhances rather than undermines our human values.